let's talk about relationships. Like, let's talk about why certain people always attract the same toxic or unhealthy relationships. And how can we stop doing that? Like, how can we level up? (laughs) Well, that's part of the whole, I think, limiting beliefs aspect. And if you have a belief that you're not lovable, then you might, you're more than likely going to attract people that make you feel that way because it's not really about them. It's the, it's basically your internal, you know, space or environment is being reflected into your external. So however you're feeling about yourself, you're going to be attracting those situations. And I'm not, this is not to say if someone's like in a, you know, domestic violence situation that they brought that on themselves. It's not so much that it's just more the patterns and the types of people, the energy that we're attracting. So if we're not valuing ourselves, we're more than likely going to attract someone who's not valuing us and seeing our worth. Um, so doing that, that kind of the same thing, like the inner child work, um, a lot of times it starts with like with our parents and like our first relationships or our first experiences, those beliefs about what we deserve or what we don't deserve can influence what we are bringing into our lives. So the more self-love, the more self-worth, self-compassion you have, the more likely you're going to manifest and attract a partner who's in the same energy that you are also. Yeah. I think a big part is also like knowing your worth, set, learning how to set good boundaries. Cause like, if you were not taught that, yes. if you're always a yes person, people pleaser, and, and also if you feel unlovable, you're, you're going to be the type of person that just like does everything for the other person, gives too much and lets people step over you. And, and, and then you, f- you don't, you know, those people don't walk away from those types of relationships because they don't believe that they're worthy enough, right? They, they kind of, yes, it, it's all in your belief about yourself and your worth and that, that creates the relationship that you allow. Cause if, if you had like maybe more confidence, more sense of self-worth then you wouldn't allow it, you would walk away much earlier. So I yeah. think that's the, the issue, Absolutely. right? With people that end up in those like toxic relationships, it's, it's recognizing that you're allowing it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Eileen, I think as sometimes as to, as women, it's like, if our worth is being put into, oh, we're in a relationship, then if we're not, well, okay, who am I? Like, what is, am I not as lovable? Am I not as valued? I'm not being seen. Right. So giving yourself that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I feel like for some women, if your self-worth is low, it's like, it's almost like just being in the relationship, even if it's terrible is like, like they're hanging on to it because it's a proof of their worth. Yeah. And we, we need to change that narrative that it's okay. That's why I'm always posting about like solo date ideas yeah. and being happy. I think I was ashamed of being single for so long. And now I'm like, I'm single as a Pringle. Like I love it. And if the right person yeah, comes great, beautiful. but I'm not going to lower my standards in the meantime. Exactly. So. Exactly. I know people out there is probably struggling with with something similar. So how do you get to that place of like full confidence in like being single or oh, full confidence in yourself, <laughs> knowing that you are whole and then coming to a healthy relationship as two holes, you know? Hmm. Time helps. I mean, I know it being patient and that's hard because a lot of times we want something right now, but, um, once you do this, like self-development, the self-growth work, you, you start to get a better understanding of who you are. And then you don't feel like you need someone as much to complete you. It's like, Oh, that would be nice. But you know who you are, you know what your values are and your standards are and that your worth comes from something else. If it's not coming from that, maybe it's coming from, you know, what type of a person you are, what kind of friend you are or different things like that. So you find other ways to find your value and your worth. And for me, it was recognizing that it's much better to be single than to be in an unhappy or unhealthy relationship. So the more you can kind of, I guess, do that self-discovery, learn to love yourself and the self-compassion and taking that time to be with yourself, then it's like, oh, I don't need to avoid this. This is not, I'm not lonely. This is my like alone time. And I cherish that. Right. When you love yourself, like you start to enjoy and really love just being in your own company, right? Like you don't really need anyone else. You're you're like, I love this. (laughs) And you can do <laughs> and whatever you want. Else is just like a bonus. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. <laughs> that should be how life is. <laughs>